Hey YouTube, this is Robert Ness 816 and we have three Game Gears here that I need to recap. Um, so I ordered my cap kits from console5.com and uh, they give you candy apparently when you order enough stuff I guess. Um, so these are all uh, VA1 um, Game Gears. This one right here is just to show you what a Game Gear I guess should look like when it works. This is a VA5 Game Gear that has not been touched at all. Um, so you get sort of a decent screen. I'll get a close-up of that. Okay, so this is what a properly working Game Gear should look like, I guess. I'm trying to adjust it so you can see it. And I don't even know if this is properly working. This is just when it hasn't been recapped but still works. So um, these screens are not really easy to see. Let me just push the start button here. They're not really easy to make out on... Uh, on video unfortunately but yeah this is what I guess properly working Game Gear should look like um, the caps in this particular one aren't leaking and my other VA5 also the same thing the caps aren't leaking so um, I'm assuming this is what it should look like so let's take a look at one of the broken ones so here's a broken one and uh, you really don't get much of anything you get like the starting of uh, a game I guess um, so pushing a start button does reveal that it does want to do something, I guess. So that's like the Sega splash screen there. I'm, I'm playing around with the contrast button, but yeah, it doesn't really do much. This one right here needs a backlight, actually. But um, yeah, this one right here will be my parts system. So if it's bad enough, I'll just take the tube out of this one and put it into this console since it's in a much nicer condition. But yeah. So let's see what happens now when I recap these things. So in this one you can see it, um, capacitor on it is leaking out of the side there. Um, and these two are also looking pretty bad. Just leaking and just corroded, corrosion all over the place. So we're going to replace the caps on these and um, hope for the best. And the same thing over here on a soundboard, you have uh, visible corrosion on the contacts. So we'll just replace all of these and hope for the best. The power board actually seems okay, but I'm going to replace them anyways. Okay, so now that we have the console all apart, you can see that there's a little bit of cloudiness over here on the other side of the board as well. So there's uh, like corrosion on both sides. Um, I'm not sure what that is, but this definitely needs a, a good scrub down. I really hope this thing works too after I recap it. This board actually smells like electrolyte too, like I can just smell it, so yeah. Really hope I can fix this. Let's see there, leaking all the contacts there and stuff. Sound uh, power board is actually fine, at least it looks okay. Um, the big cap, however, has visible, um, it looks like the bottom plug has come out, so you can kind of see stuff on the bottom of it there. Kind of fungusy looking stuff, so they all need to be changed. Alright, so I cleaned everything off with uh, isopropyl alcohol. I'm uh, sucking on my jaw breaker right now, but... Yeah, so we got um, everything cleaned up. It all came off pretty easily. Scrub down the entire board just to make sure. I didn't want to, uh, you know, leave anything on there because this stuff does stink when you heat it up with the iron. Not really too sure. Well, you can see that, but yeah, everything about as clean as it's gonna get. And then once I uh, remove all the caps, I'm actually gonna scrub it down again just to make sure I got everything. And then here's all the uh, caps, so I just have to match them up, solder them in, and that's it. Alright, so one thing you always want to make sure of when doing a cap kit on a Game Gear is to make sure that you have clearance in there. So um, I'm laying the main board on top here just to make sure everything fits flush. And uh, I've only done one part of it so far because the uh, corrosion on those pads is pretty bad, so... The soundboard is good to go as far as I'm concerned. I laid everything down as flat as possible. Alright, so I re 
recap the uh, soundboard. I had it all mounted in, and then I discovered that it wouldn't fit under the um, little plate here where your um, RF shield is. So I had to actually remove this capacitor and replace it, or relocate it rather. So now it fits underneath this little stupid shield. All the little challenges that you're going to face when you do one of these. Does it fit still? Yeah, so still kind of an issue now because it's hitting this capacitor. So that's this one. This cap needs to be um, moved around again. So I'm going to have to uh, change the location of this one and maybe lay it down in this direction if that's possible. Oh well. Okay guys, so I had to be creative here in order to make the stupid shield flush. Um, Jesus Christ. So, this is the stupid setup that I had to come up with. And, uh, my god. So, these caps here are just too tall. They don't really fit correctly, so you gotta be really, really, really creative here. Um... So that fits flush, and then the uh, other board, the sound, or the uh, main board rather, should hopefully fit on top without any issues. Good. So everything fits fine. Whew, that was a pain in the butt, guys. Alright, so the backboard is, uh, both backboards are done, so the power board has three new caps, and the sound board has, uh, was, uh, four, five new caps, and the other one from before, so that's a little bit of creativity, just to make it all fit, so let's move on to the front board. This is very time consuming, by the way, Jesus Christ. Alright, so the capacitor job is all done, um went pretty well I think and let's power this thing on and see what it does so this one just had lines on a screen with no sound so hopefully it'll work much better than before guys so that actually looks better than mine does So, that's a big thumbs up for me. Yeah, look, that looks way better than mine, actually. Okay, so I'm going to recap both of mine, then. Alright, so the game gear is all uh, reassembled now, for the most part, just, um doing some final checks to make sure everything fits and it does so it just goes back together pretty much without any anything really uh, interfering at all which is what you would want so I'm happy right so let's see what the final product is turn the lights off here Difficult system to take a good video of. Ugh. I can see it fine, but you can't. No. Oh. Everyone start. I don't even know which one to start. Oh, there you go. Yep, it works. You can't see shit, but I can. There we go. Maybe that's... This is so much of a pain in the boot. Anyway, I'm dead here as soon as I hit this. There we go. Yeah, playing heavy rolls with one hand. While trying to make sure you guys can see it. Alright, whatever. It's a pain in the ass game to play with one hand. But I'm happy. Very happy, so. Oh, yeah.